Here at GPM Hydraulic Consulting, we have always stressed that troubleshooting must be done from the schematic. The most valuable troubleshooting tool at a mechanic's disposal is the hydraulic schematic. Since 1994, we have developed customized hydraulic troubleshooting manuals for companies like Goodyear, Georgia Pacific, Kimberly Clark, Saturn, Weyerhaeuser, and International Paper, to name a few. Troubleshooting from the machine without a schematic can be difficult, if not impossible. This is particularly true when components are mounted in a manifold. There are no hydraulic lines to trace. All the lines are drilled through the manifold and not visible externally. Without a schematic, troubleshooting is little more than guesswork. When a hydraulic machine is built, the customer is usually furnished with the installation schematics. But these can be particularly hard to read and use as troubleshooting tools. Usually, they're drawn by physical location, requiring the mechanic to go from page to page simply tracing a single hydraulic circuit. This is an actual schematic from one of our customers. The name has been removed to protect the intellectual property of the schematic. Let's use it as an example of the ordeal a mechanic would face using it to trace one simple flow path. This is page 2 of 11 pages included in the installation drawing. It shows the hydraulic pumps. The circuit we want to trace begins with the outlet of this pump. An arrow with coordinates shows where the hydraulic line picks up on the next page. Checking the coordinates, we find where the line picks up here on page 3. The flow comes in here and travels through the manifold, leaving the page again here. On page 4, the line comes in here and back out again here. The coordinates direct us to page 1. Finally, on page 1, we find the line again returning to the reservoir. Bear in mind that we picked one of the simplest flow paths in the entire machine to follow in the interest of time and still had to trace through four separate pages. Many flow paths through this machine traverse several more pages than this one does. While this type of schematic is quite valuable to the installation crew, it can be frustrating and time consuming for even the most experienced maintenance professional. And if the technician has limited schematic reading skills, these drawings can be worthless as a troubleshooting tool. Usually he will resort to parts changing to attempt to restore the machine to service. In our customized troubleshooting manuals, we simplify the drawings and design them specifically for troubleshooting the machine. Whereas the previous circuit required four separate schematics to trace just one flow path, we've combined them all into one single print. Troubleshooting then becomes a simple matter of tracing the hydraulic flow and following the path of least resistance. This illustration shows the circuit in its normal state, with no power applied. All of the hydraulic components are numbered. The numbers correspond to a narrative of each component. The narrative explains the function of the component, how to troubleshoot it, and if it is adjustable, the proper adjustments that should be made. We make separate drawings for each cycle of the machine operation, showing which valves are shifted into what position. This integrates the hydraulic flow with the electrical operation, making troubleshooting a simple matter of tracing hydraulic flow. The different colors represent different pressures. Red for high pressure flow, orange for metered flow, and blue for low pressure flow. In this illustration, the motors are shown turning clockwise, and the cylinders extending at high speed. With the flow drawn in and all of the valves shown in their correct positions, possible failures are easily spotted. As an example, if all of the actuators are moving too slowly, the technician can easily see that the only components common to all of the actuators are the relief valve and the pump. The component descriptions offer troubleshooting techniques for both. And if just one actuator is moving too slowly, the technician can easily determine which components are common only to that particular actuator. When the machine cycle changes, so do flow paths through the components. Without schematics drawn this way, the troubleshooter must look at the components in only their power off state. He must then compare the hydraulic schematic with the electrical logic and imagine how the flow paths will change. The more opportunities for mistakes we can eliminate, the more effective the troubleshooting tool will be. Typically, we use our troubleshooting manuals as textbooks when teaching an advanced troubleshooting class and leave the manual behind to be used as reference and a troubleshooting tool. But many of our customers forego the class and have us develop just the manual for their technicians. 
We begin with a site survey. Pictures are taken of the components, pressures are checked, and installation drawings are verified for accuracy, and any changes or deviations from the original drawings are noted so that our schematics are up to date and accurate. The finished product is provided in printed form and it's also available as a digital ebook. Armed with one of our troubleshooting manuals, the technician now has the four basic skills necessary to becoming a hydraulic troubleshooter. The first is to understand the function of each component. Any component the technician is unfamiliar with is explained in detail in the narrative of the manual. The second is to be able to read the schematic symbol of each component. In addition to the narrative, all of our manuals have a hydraulic schematic symbol sheet in the back of the manual for reference whenever the technician is unsure of a symbol. The third is to be able to troubleshoot the individual component, preferably without removing it from the machine and risking contaminating the system. Specific methods for doing this are written in the component commentary. And the fourth is to know how to properly adjust the system. Recommended pressure settings and techniques for adjusting the components are covered in the narrative of most components. Customized hydraulic troubleshooting manuals are just one more way that at GPM Hydraulic Consulting we turn parts changers into hydraulic troubleshooters. To find out how you can obtain your own customized hydraulic troubleshooting manual Call today at 770-267-3787.